esteemed moderator, uh, delegates, and colleagues, my name is David Johns, and it is a true honor for me to be here with you today. Uh, I would like to thank you and the OSCE for providing me with this opportunity to talk about the work of the National Black Justice Coalition and our efforts to combat racism, homophobia, and hate crimes. The National Black Justice Coalition is the only civil society in the United States that is intentionally and unapologetically dedicated to both racial and ethnic equity and LGBTQIA and same gender loving, a term I use to describe myself, equality. The National Black Justice Coalition is an important organization because there are some of us who have intersectional identities. That is, we face bias, discrimination, and are sometimes are the victims of hate crimes because of our multiple, overlapping, socially constructed identities. The work we do is important because too often people assume that all African descendants, all African Americans to be specific, are the same. That we're heterosexual, able-bodied, and Christian, for example. But as long as there have been black people, there have been black LGBTQ SGL people. And it is important for us to highlight this fact to ensure that we can meet the needs of members of our community who were too often neglected and ignored. There are three recommendations, really requests that I have of the United States and every other delegate represented here. And they're designed to strengthen responses to hate crimes. My recommendations are designed to ensure, again, that we protect the fundamental human rights of all people, especially African descendants who are united globally in the challenge of overcoming the vestiges of colonialism, transatlantic enslavement, and white supremacy. First, I have a question. Have you heard about the murders of the 22 black women black transgender women in the United States? No? Have you heard about the seven unsolved murders of black trans women in Jacksonville, Florida specifically? No? The fact that you might not have heard about these alarming statistics is because we need more robust and disaggregated hate crime reporting, reporting that acknowledges intersectionality. Every year in the United States, black transgender women are murdered at an alarming rate. However, we, they are not always counted or considered. Such data collection and reporting is essential to ensure that we're protecting the members of our community who are most vulnerable and who are least likely to report having been the victim of a hate crime, racism, or homophobia. Second, we need culturally appropriate and inclusive training and professional development for first responders like police officers or educators so that they are equipped to provide safe space for all individuals. This is also so that they can improve their ability to ensure safety and equal protection for all individuals, especially those of us who come from racial, ethnic, and sexual minority communities. Finally, the government of the United States should invest in civil societies, nonprofit organizations like the National Black Justice Coalition, organizations that do the work of providing victims of racism, homophobia, and hate crimes with necessary support and services like counseling, legal, and social support. I hope that you all consider the National Black Justice Coalition a resource, really a partner in this critically important work. And remember that Fannie Lou Hamer taught us that none of us are free until all of us are free. And my hope is that we can get free together. I thank you very much for the gift of your time and attention, and I look forward to additional and meaningful action. Thank you.